Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus, it's Dana. Guess what? All the planets are aligned. Well, six planets anyway are aligned and... The planets are aligned all in a row, all in a row, Taurus. So there's some some planetary energetic stuff going on out there. I am not an astrologer by any means, but I do follow it and I am interested in it. And someday I will learn how to do it. But for now, I just want to let you know that there's some movement happening and I think we need to do a reading about it. I do. I think we need to do a reading. So, if you're new to the channel, come on in. Snuggle up to this table. Let's have a big old talk about some things. If you're returning to the channel, of course, thank you. This channel would not be here without you. Everybody subscribe because it helps the old channel grow, okay? It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards. I'm going to thoroughly confuse you while I sew together a story, all right? Spirit. Source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus here with me, Spirit. And the collective wants to know what you know. What do you know about this particular Taurus? And what does the Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming next? What's coming next? What does Taurus need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their very best and highest good? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Spirit, what is it, who right there, that this particular Taurus needs to know? All right, let's cut them three times. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. King of Swords in reverse. Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles in reverse. All right, let's see what all that's about. First card out the box is the Six of Wands. Victory, progress, success, overcoming. The Fool in reverse, foolishness. Princess of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action. Undelivered promises. Temperance. Tempering yourself. Finding peace in your emotions, in your mind, in your desires, and in your sense of well-being. Ooh, and the devil. Find some peace. Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Can't manifest. The Hermit. Soul searching. The High Priestess in reverse. In the center of the reading, the Two of Pentacles. And the King of Cups in reverse. And we got the, oh, let's scooch this up here so y'all can see what the heck is going on. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, the Wheel in Reverse, the Four of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles to the Hangman in Reverse, the Prince of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Hierophant in Reverse. All right, Taurus, let's figure this all out, huh? Let's make some sense out of all of this. So, Six of Wands, overcoming the battle. What is this about? What is this about? Six of Cups. Home, family, nostalgia, memories, children, soulmate. Fool in reverse to the Page of Swords in reverse. Foolishness. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. The tower in reverse to the world. All right, all right, all right. And then we got the Princess of Swords right here too. What is uh, this Princess of Swords about? What is this Princess of Swords about in reverse? Is this about not talking? Not talking? Yeah. Two of Cups and Temperance to Temperance. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right.
All right, Taurus. All right, all right, all right. This is what's going on, okay? For somebody out there, this is what's going on. It does not mean that this is about you or your life, but somebody out there needs to hear what I'm about to say, all right? So the Six of Wands. It's a minor arcana, so it's kind of like you, okay? So the Six of Wands is about victory, progress, success. You want to have some kind of success, Six of Cups, with something from your past, okay? The someone, I should be more specific, okay? So this particular Taurus is looking forward to having some kind of success with someone from their past, the Ace of Pentacles. There's a new opportunity on the table with this person, the Hierophant, to commit, to have some kind of commitment to the Three of Wands. Well, the Three of Wands talks about having some foresight, right? It's clarifying a major arcana. So it's talking about having foresight. What Spirit wants you to know is you, whomever this is, is, is looking forward to having some kind of successful opportunity involving some kind of commitment with someone that they are familiar with in some way. All right. And the Hierophant's clarification is the Three of Wands, which says you need to have some foresight. You need to have some foresight in this situation. I'm fixing to give it to you. Okay. The Fool in Reverse, Major Arcana speaking to you. Okay, the fool in reverse says, this would be foolish of you. This is not the direction. It's not where you're supposed to be going. It's off track, okay? Page of swords in reverse. Possibly this is someone that you haven't talked to in a long time, but more importantly, the page of swords in reverse is about all talk, no action, undelivered promises. And then the tower in reverse comes on top of this and talks about averting disaster and the world. So what these are saying is that this is a foolish mistake that this particular Taurus could potentially be making in their life, okay? The promises in this Hierophant are all talk, no action, undelivered promises, okay? Tower in reverse, avert disaster. What's the disaster? Well, trying to build something on a, found, on, on a foundation that can't bear the weight of what it is that you're trying to build in your life. Whatever your idea of this Hierophant is right here can't be built in this situation. That's why the Fool card says this is foolishness. The avert disaster. The disaster of what? Everything eventually crumbling on top of you because it's the wrong direction for this particular person's life. The world. It's time to close it down and step into a new cycle. It's time to step into a new cycle of life, a new, a new way of thinking, a new way of feeling, a new way of understanding your existence. Why? Again, Princess of Swords in reverse, right? All talk, no action, undelivered promises, reiterating what I got clarified over there. To the Two of Cups, this union between the two of you, whatever it is, it could be work, money, career, finance, love, romance, family, friendship, okay? But it, it could be anything for anybody. But whatever it is that you are all excited about getting engaged with, um, some kind of union, right? Advice, Major Arcana says, temper yourself. Temper yourself. Temper yourself, right? So far, your advice with Major Arcana, with all the Major Arcana, is the Hierophant, right? What's your foundation stones? What do you believe? What are the messages that are being sent to you about this situation? Are you discerning the messages that are being sent to you to this situation? Because you're about to do something foolish, avert disaster, go into the next phase, don't revisit the past phase, continue on, continue growing, continue going forward, temper yourself, in this situation, temperance again, temper yourself, right? Find peace in all of your, your elements. Find peace in your mind, in your emotions, in your desires, and in your sense of well-being. Take a deep breath and find some peace 
in the whole situation. What's the problem? Well, the devil, because you're struggling against your flesh in this situation. You want this to happen, but the high priestess in reverse in the center of the reading says that you're ignoring your intuition. Okay, and that's this devil card loves nothing more than for you to ignore your intuition. Okay, all right. Okay, the Eight of Cups, right? Clarifying Major Arcana says, walk away from this. This card actually says you can do better because he walks from the Eight of Cups into the Nine of Cups, right? So temper yourself, you can do better. The devil says, oh no, you can't do any better or you lost at this the last time and now is your time for redemption, right? Or guilt about leaving someone um, a long time ago or whatever this devil card is for you. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth and it's toxic to your life. And that is the struggle. That's the struggle here because you want what you want, what you want in this situation, but it's not in your best and highest good. And therein lies the Achilles heel of humanity. We know, we hear our internal higher self and our soul leading us and guiding us all the time. We all do. But the struggle is sometimes what we are being told is in our best and highest good doesn't align with what we think is in our best and highest good. So we all make stupid mistakes all over the place because we didn't listen in the first place. It will always lead you to the path of your best and highest good, but we always think that we know the path of our best and highest good, and that's the devil card for whoever this is for. Yes, justice comes on top of this and says what's in your best interest, whomever this is for, what's in your best interest, three of swords in reverse, is to come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain in the mind that following your intuition would create because you would not engage in this situation. If you followed your intuition, you would not engage in this situation. And it's in your best interest, it's best for you to just come to terms with it. Okay? And then the devil was clarified by the Hierophant, right? What is this? This, this is some kind of commitment that is being offered to you. It could be, again, a bazillion things. Get your cards read if you want to know the nitty-gritty details of your own personal situation. I still have that sale going on until the end of the summer, all right? So if you want to know the details, get your cards read. Otherwise, all I can do is speak vaguely about this stuff because I don't know, the, 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 I don't know right? So, the Terrafin some kind of commitment that's being offered to you. And the Six of Swords comes on top of it and says you need to leave it. You need to go away from it. It's not in your best and highest good. Princess of Pentacles in reverse talks about an inability to manifest perhaps in the past, and maybe that's what in some way that devil card is about, but you couldn't get this to go in the past, but now you're having a second shot, okay? Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities. Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities. The Hermit. The Hermit says, let's sit and talk about this for a minute. Let's do some soul searching and some introspection. Why? Well, the High Priestess in reverse in the center of the reading, okay? Two things. The High Priestess in reverse is first and foremost you, um, not following your inner guidance about this whole situation because it looks good, it smells good, but it doesn't quite taste right, okay? So this is you ignoring your intuition and the Hermit card says, let's sit and talk about this. This whole reading revolves around the High Priestess in reverse. Sit and talk. Do some deep soul searching and deep introspection and decide within yourself if you are going to follow the path of your best and highest good according to your internal knowing or if you are going to just go ahead and send this all the way with I want what I want what I want. That's what you're going to talk about in the Hermit Energy, okay? All right. <sighs> 
Hold on a second. I'll explain. The other aspect of this high priestess in reverse is the emperor in reverse. Two aspects again, okay? Both being major arcana. On a soul level, the emperor in reverse is you being out of control of your life because you can't build what it is that you want to build. Hence the tower in reverse. You can't build what it is that you want to build in this place, okay? Out of control of yourself. The other aspect of the, both of these cards is that your person is the emperor in reverse. The person that you are getting into this new opportunity with, this person from your past, is egocentric, self-centered, and has only their best interest at the forefront of everything that they do. High Priestess in Reverse would be this person unhealed. This High Priestess in Reverse is also somebody hiding something from you, which also goes back to that Devil card. I think it it's all of it. I think it's all of it. I think this person is full of shit. I think they're hiding things from you. I think they're unhealed. I think that the unhealed Taurus, being the Emperor in Reverse and the High Priestess in Reverse, would fall for this. Because they want what they want, what they want. But if you are on a healing path and you are on a spiritual awakening path, this tarot card reading is supposed to be giving you a little flick in the head that says, hey, oh, pay attention to what we're trying to tell you because we're trying to tell you something very, very important. Tell your flesh to take a back seat for a second and listen to what's going on. Sit, do some soul searching, talk with whatever it is that you call it. Talk with it. All right, to the moon in reverse and come to terms with what it is that you know in your guts that you are ignoring and what it is that you don't necessarily want to be the truth of the situation. Hermit in reverse and withdraw yourself from this situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? The hermit. In this hermit energy, what you're going to find out is the fool and the three of cups that you can do better that you deserve better, that it can be better. The Fool is a different direction, just like the World card, right? Different direction, brand new beginning, brand new journey. Remember, this Fool was in reverse right here, right? This whole thing is off track, right? Tap into the Hermit energy, go through all this stuff I just talked about in the center of this reading, right? And align yourself with universal order and follow the movement inside of you. Three of Cups, because you can do better. You can do better than this situation. If you will follow the path of your soul, it will always lead you in your best and highest good. And your best and highest good is leading you to exactly what you're trying to create in this situation. But you're trying to create in this situation from your human understanding. And it's a big, huge fuck up. If you'll do it from your soul's understanding, even though you have to cut this loose, it's going to lead you to what it is that you want anyway. So why would you do anything different? And that's what the universe wants to know, right? Why would you do anything different? We're trying to show you the best and best possible way to live this life. But your silly humanness and that devil right there um, keeps you connected to someone that's not being square with you in the first place. Two of Pentacles. Prioritize this understanding. Balance this out and you'll find some peace in your well-being. To the Ace of Swords. Aha, light bulb, gotcha kind of moment. That's what this Taurus needs to have, okay? King of Cups in reverse. This is some kind of emotional missing Emotional missing is what I feel. It's, it's like you will be so disappointed that you will miss the emotional fulfillment aspect of this offer if you follow your soul that you are creating emotional volatility inside of yourself by yourself to strength. Overcome this. Have the courage to follow unequivocally and overcome this to the hangman take a step back get a new perspective and cut yourself loose from this tree see it for what it is stop stop hanging there reach up cut yourself loose and carry on about yourself queen of pentacles to the three of pentacles 
This is what you want from this situation. This is what this situation is going to offer you, okay? That's what this new stuff is right here, okay? This is what this situation is going to offer you. Hold on, I have to get a drink. All right, so it's going to put you in a place of security, possibly put you in a place of title, definitely meet your needs, okay, and in the sense of well-being, okay, and the three of pentacles, also being earth energy, also being your sense of well-being, talks about teamwork and collaboration. So, Team, it could be, y'all, it could be anything. Teamwork and collaboration, some kind of romantic deal, uh, some kind of business deal, some kind of selling a house deal, something. It could be anything, you guys, but this is what you're expecting from it, okay? And five of Wands says it's not going to happen like that. There's going to be conflict. The Five of Wands is kind of rooted in a little bit of competition somehow. Don't know how that plays into your story, but it is a fact, okay? And then the Seven of Pentacles comes on top of it and says, take a step back, contemplate and reevaluate what the literal fuck you're about to do right here. Because the wheel in reverse, clarified by the wheel in reverse, the universe says hard stop hard stop can you all see that clear because it's important hard stop wheel in reverse to the wheel in reverse absolute hard stop by the universe not in your path fool in reverse not in your path not in your purpose not the direction that you're supposed to go y'all need to understand how potent the wheel of fortune in reverse reiterating the wheel of fortune in reverse is for this situation Right? I mean, it's a big deal. The Four of Wands to the Nine of Cups. The peace, the happiness, the safety, the inspiration that you want from this relationship. The, the wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction that you are poised to get from this situation can't happen in this situation because you don't know the whole picture because this person is keeping something from you. True. It's true. It's true. Seven of Pentacles. Take a step back and reflect and assess on what you're doing. Queen of Pentacles in reverse because the Queen of Pentacles that you think you're going to be over here with this teamwork and this collaboration isn't going to happen in this situation. So just move on with the Five of Cups in reverse. Move on. Hangman in reverse. Your resistance, your delays, your stalling is keeping this is keeping the world and the wheel of fortunes from spinning in the upright, right? And the hermit for that matter. Okay? Your del resistance, delays, stalling in seeing this and just passing this by. You don't even have to engage in this. If you see this coming in your life and you feel like this is your story, just don't answer the phone and you don't even have to go through this, okay? Hangman in reverse is also your advice to resist this person's this person, the bad this person, this person's communication, all right? Resist it. Four of Swords in reverse talks about being unsettled. Unsettled. You will be unsettled when this person reaches out. And you'll particularly be unsettled now that you got this reading right here, right? To the Two of Cups. The relationship between the two of you, the Two of Wands, your future plans, what you see for the future in this situation, what's being offered to you for your future in this situation, the commitment, the contract, the obligation that's being presented to you in this situation. Hierophant in reverse. Cut loose of ties, commitments, and obligations. Don't sign the contract. Don't put the money down. Don't buy it. Don't sell it. Don't just don't. Don't marry it. Don't date it. Don't just don't. Just don't. Reevaluate your own belief system as to why you would compromise your gut knowing for this, especially with all of these Hierophants. There's three Hierophants in this reading. Three Hierophants, two Wheel of Fortunes. Yep, yep, yep. King of Cups. Turn that King of Cups in reverse back here in the upright 
get control of yourself, find your ancient understanding. The King and Queen of Cups for me in my world as a reader are ancient wisdom, ancient souls, ancient knowledge. Find that in yourself. Find your soul, Nine of Pentacles, and stand in your power. Stand in your power. Independent, self-sufficient, bring in a culmination to this in finding your power. Nine of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom of the deck because it's a waste of your time. It, this whole thing is just a waste of your time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. King of Swords in reverse, you misusing your power. What's your power? Well, you, over, your, over your life, over your adventure, over your soul's adventure in this human body. Wasting your power. King of Swords in reverse is most importantly, this person is hiding something from you. They're not telling you the truth about something or they will lie significantly huge about something in the future of this relationship. But either way, your advice is to avert disaster with the, with the tower in reverse. I mean, heck, the fool in reverse. Man, whenever I see the fool in reverse, I'm like, uh-uh, no way, mm-mm, not doing that. Not doing that. I work too hard to get to where I am to make some stupid mistake because the old El Diablo makes me think I want it more than I want my soul's journey, and not for me, no thank you. But this King of Swords in reverse is uh, about this person being dishonest with you. Four of Swords, come to terms. Come to terms with everything. Come to terms with it. The grief, the sorrow, the pain that's hanging on the wall behind him from the Three of Swords. He's, he's making peace with it, picking up the Fourth Sword, bringing stability to his mindset and pushing forward. And then the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Pentacles in reverse is about self-protection. Protect yourself. And that's the last card that this whole spread wants you to know. Protect yourself yourself. All right, Taurus, that was your reading. You can hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org if you want me to read your cards. Don't make any huge life decisions off of my general tarot card readings or anyone else's. Get your own cards read by someone that you trust. Namaste. Who do you think you are and why? Despite what you have been told and despite what you may believe about yourself, you are important, your existence has meaning, and your life has purpose. Let me show you how to find the ancient soul buried beneath your expectations and society's labels. Let's explore your true self, who you are at your core, to live a peaceful and meaningful life. We will dissect the concepts of spiritual growth and prepare you for the path ahead, your true purpose with self-paced, step-by-step guidance to unbox your mind and free your soul. Walk with me through the journey of spiritual awakening with thought-provoking insight that will challenge everything you think you know about the who, what, where, when, and why of this crazy thing called life. Life doesn't have to be a struggle. There is a better way, and your truth will set you free.